Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunaweza keti. Naitwa Nelly Nick, nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Na namshukuru sana kwa kunipa nafasi hii kuleta neno la Bwana. And I thank the pastoral team, Pastor Jeremiah, Pastor Anne, and every pastoral team that is here. Thank you for giving me this chance to bring the word of God. And I know that our lives will never be the same again. Amen. And today I want to bring us the word of God that says it is not over yet. Praise the name of Jesus. Esther chapter 2 from verse 15 to 17 the Bible tells me that Esther found favor with the king so she could go and see the king. Lakini kabla sasa ya Esther apate favor to the king. Kulikuwa na mfalme ya bae alikuwa naitua kwa kiswa hili hapo anaitua nani? Aha. Aha suero. Na alikuwa na bibi ambaye alikuwa naitua nani? Vashti. Sijui kwa Kiswahili sasa anai Vashti eh alikuwa anaitwa Vashti na kwa hivyo wakawa na sherehe na ikawa sasa wanataka kule huyu mfalme anataka kuonyeshana bibi yake huyu Vashti na unajua sasa mfalme alikuwa anachaguliwa yule bibi ambaye ni mrembo zaidi so wakati Vashti aliambiwa sasa unahitajika kwa mfalme maana anataka kukuonyeshana Vashti alisema mimi siendi ngo siwezi enda. Na kwa hivyo mfalme wakati alisikia Vashti amesema hataenda aka akashangaa sana na akashtuka sana. And like our pastor has got a pastoral team there behind him. They told the king, sasa huyu Vashti analinga nini? Wacha tukutafutie bibi mwingine si wewe ni mfalme. Hufai kuwa na bibi ambaye ukimwambia kitu ha, hataki wacha tukutafutie bibi mwingine praise the name of the lord and that is how esther came to be and that is how esther became the beautiful queen of king vash of king ahasuerus or king Texas. praise the name of the lord because he is or her, her uncle who uncle haman Anko Modekai. Ha Anko Modekai. Akambia mfalme. Na wenye walikuwa nataftia mfalme bibi. Niko na mschana hata yeye. Aletwe. Aonekane kama atakubalika na mfalme. Wasichana walikuwa nachaguliwa. Zijui kama ningekuwa mmoja wao. Then. Walikuwa nachaguliwa. So wanafanyishwa. Ehe. Uyu anaweza, ehe, akona karakta, ehe, apana, haya uyu ni wamatusi, wewe ondoka, ehe, ukona maringo sana, wewe toka. And Esther found favor with the king. And it, that is how she got into the kingdom. Praise the name of the Lord. Chapter 2 verse 21. In those days when Mordecai sat, with the king, sat within the king's gate, two of the king's eunuchs, Big Dan and Teresh, doorkeepers, became furious and sought to lay hands on the king Ahasuerus. That is to say, Big Dan na Teresh walipanga nini? Kumuwa nani? Mfanmi. What happened? Naye... Mordecai akajua haya maneno. Mordecai ni anko wa mamjoba wa nani? Wa Esther. Esther ni nani kwa, kwa mfalme? Bi, she is the queen and ni bibi ya mfalme. Mordecai akakimbia kwa Esther. Akamwambia unajua nini? Teresh na Bigda wanataka kuua mfalme. Wewe nenda kaambie mfalme. Na wakati ilichunguzwa ikaonekana ni kweli walikuwa wanataka kumuua nao watu wakauawa praise the name of the lord this is one good act that Mordecai did that saved his life in the future 
tutaona kwa nini praise the name of the lord kuna jambo ambalo labda unafanya na unaona unafanyia mtu unaona ai nafanyia huyu mtu na nimemtendea mambo mazuri na ninalipia nina huyu mtoto shule hata kama si wangu ninamlipia shule huyu huyu shosho na kishinda kumtembelea ama anashinda kuja kwangu kuniomba kitu eh nisaidie sina unga sina wakati wa Mungu ukifika usikose kufanya tendo mzuri maana hilo tendo ndilo litakuokoa in the days to come and we, we are going to read verse by verse venye tutaona ndio tuone venye kuliendelea so huyu Mordecai akaambia the, the Esther who was there like a daughter to him akamwambia sasa enda uambie mfalme nayo katika ufalme huu kama ungetenda jambo mzuri ilikuwa inawekwa kwa maktaba hiyo eh? ni nini ilikuwa inawekwa kwa kumbukumbu sasa hiyo jambo liliwekwa kwa kumbukumbu Mordecai has saved the king because there are people the eunuchs wanted to kill him and this was written praise the name of the lord that small thing that you do for someone it shall be written somewhere it might not be written in the books of the people here or not but it can be written in the book the books of heaven and one day one time when someone want to be against you or when someone want to bring you out god will start and say i can see there's something that this person did for me na hili ni kumbukumbu kwa hivyo hata fanyiwa jambo mbaya mimi nitasimama na huyu maana alitendea mtu vizuri Praise the name of the Lord. Usichoke kutenda vizuri. Usichoke kusaidia watu. Usichoke kufanya jambo ambalo linaonekana ai huyu mtu sasa anataka kujionyesha fanya. Kama ni jambo ambalo litaonyeshana ama litasaidia mtu ama litatoa mtu kutoka kitu ambacho kimemshika kime sana fanya. Unajua watu hujiondoa. Wanasema ah hiyo hiyo crusade ya watu wenye wanaenda gagarithi sasa siwezi iombea lakini kuna mwingine atasema eh, i will leave my car here and walk to gagarithi and do a prayer walk na nitaanza kuitisha mioyo ya hao watu hiyo peke yake itafanya siku mmoja ambayo umepangiwa mabaya mungu ayapindue Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uliza mwenzako kuna jambo ambalo we ufanya ama wewe uangalia tu unaona mabaya kwa watu. Unaangalia tu unasema eh huyu naweza muwekea muwekea jiwe wapi anguke. Shimo gani naweza chimba huyu? Huyu nitamchimbia wapi? Chimba lakini ujue. Chunga usianguke kwa hilo shimo lenyewe. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Chapter 3 Chapter Tumetoka chapter 2 sasa tuko chapter 3 Chapter 3 verse 2 And all the king's servants who were within the king's gate bowed and paid homage to Haman for so the king had commanded concerning him but Mordecai would not bow or would not pay homage that is to say ya kwamba kulikuwa na mtu mwenye alikuwa second to the king kulikuwa na regadhi gashagwa wa wakati huo na huyu hakuwa hapana machezo alikuwa ameambia mfalme now that i am second to you when you read those chapters zikifuatana utaelewa vizuri juu tumeruka na ikawa sasa akaambia mfalme sasa mimi i am second to you and i should i nafaa kuwa na mamlaka nafaa kuwa nikipita watu wananiinamia nafaa kuwa watu wakiniona wananiheshimu eh hey, wananipea saluti eh hey, yes sir mkubwa wanainama but there was this man who was Mordecai ambaye alikuwa ni mjoba wa Esther who was the queen 
Mwenye sasa yeye hange muinamia. Praise the name of the Lord. I am laying a foundation of something. Huyu Mordecai akiona huyu hama na kipita hange muinamia. Hakushidania. Na hii ilileta shida kubwa maana Haman alitaka kuheshimiwa. Ma Haman alikuwa ajulikane na onekane yeye ni mkuu. Lakini kuna mmoja mwenye hati. Praise the name of the Lord. So verse 6. But he disdained to lay hands on Mordecai Hiyo ukifuatanisha utaelewa. He, dis he dis disdained to lay hands on Mordecai alone. For they had told him of the people of Mordecai. Instead, Haman sought to destroy all the Jews who were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, the people of Mordecai. Wakati sasa Haman alisinywa na huyu Mordecai aliamua mimi sitauza huyu Mordecai peke yake atajua mimi ni nani nitaenda kumaliza Mordecai na watu wake wote hawa watu ambao walikuwa wanaitwa nani the Jews the Jews in Kiswahili ni Wayahudi kwa hivyo Haman akasema Nataka ni mfundishe lesson. Hakuna venye hawezi ni inamia. Hapana. Hakuna venye hawezi ni onyeshe heshima. No. Naenda kuwaua wote kutoka mtoto mpaka huyu haman na ule mzee zaidi. Nitawamaliza kwa, kwa hii country, kwa hiyo taifa. Iyo. So akapanga atawaua wote. Na ndiyo wajue yeye ni mkuu second to the king praise the name of the lord verse 8 then Haman said to the king Ahasuerus there is a certain people scattered and dispersed among the people of all the provinces of the kingdom their laws are different from all other peoples and they do not keep the king's law therefore it is not fitting for the king to let them remain Uyu Haman alikuwa kona mamlaka. Na ile kitu yote ambayo aliambia mfalme, mfalme alifanya. So he went to the king. Na akamwambia king Ahasur, Ahasurao, hivyo. Akamwambia kuna watu. Eh, kuna ka group ya watu hapa mfalme. Hawa ukisema kitu hawafanyi, lakini ilikuwa wote. Hapana ni mmoja. Hawa hata hawafuati tamaduni zetu. Hawa mfalme ukisema wafanye hivi na vile hawafanyi. Sasa hawa mfalme nataka tuwaondoe. Praise the name of the Lord. Because he said they do not obey what you say. Verse 9. Now inasema. If it pleases the king, let a decree be written that they be destroyed and I will pay 10,000 talents of silver into the hands of those who do not, who do the work to bring it to the king's treasury. Hamana kasema, if it pleases you king, kama utaonelea vizuri, awa watu tu wamalize, let them be destroyed na mimi kama second to the king, Maana niko na pesa. Maana niko na mambo maku. Nitalipa hiyo mambo. Watafutwe. Watafutwe wengine Nairobi. Mombasa. Mimi nitagalimia hiyo yote. Tantu tawamaliza. Kwa hivyo, iwekwe kwa treasury ya nini? The king's treasury. Mimi haman. Nitalipa. Si niko na mali. Nitalipa. Praise the name of the Lord. What did the king do? Verse 10. Sasa huyo mfalme, hata haku fikiria marayapili. So the king took his signet ring 
from his hand and gave it to Haman, the son of Hamadath, the agitate, the enemy of the Jews. Sasa mfanme, na ni vizuri, ata ukiwa kwa leadership mahali, ni vizuri ukiambiwa kitu ata kama ni you are second to, una fikiria, eh, ni meambiwa nini? Eh, sasa ni meambiwa, hiyo kitu ni meambiwa dio nini? Ama unaambia mtu gojea, ni fikiria hiyo maneno, takuambia. So, the king didn't know that the wife was a Jew. The king never knew Huyu esta mwenye ameweka kwake she is a Jew na kama atatoa hiyo he, he removed the, 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 the he took his signet ring hiyo ni kusema akitoa hiyo signet ring istampiwe hivyo venye hama na nasema it is done no reverso mfalme angetia sahihi na his signet ring it is done Hakuna venye kungekuja kitu ingine isemekane hapana. Kwa hivyo, the king signed to the death of, her, of his own wife. Bila kujua. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God because he is merciful. Because when this is done, that tells you it was a death sentence ya yeah, the Jews ilikuwa death cell. yani it is irreversible how are Jews they are living but already walikuwa wamesainiwa death sentence washakufa tayari walikuwa wameonyeshwa sasa hawa washaku maana ishakuwa stamped hawa they are gone praise the name of the lord but there is a second chance god praise the name of jesus there is a second chance god It is true they have plotted whatever they have plotted against you. It is true even they have signed your death certificate. It is true they have diagnosed you with cancer. It is true and it, even it is AIDS. It is irreversible. But I want to tell you there is a second chance God who is able to turn around situations that seems to be signed. Naki kuna Mungu abaye akinena kutoka mbinguni hakuna mwanadamu hata ufame ambaye anaweza pindwa na siku ya leo nataka tuamini Mungu kwa mambo ambazo zimekuwa zikitushinda sana zimekuwa zinaonekana kwetu ni mlima maana mbele za Mungu mlima sio kitu ataileta chini Bwana Yesu asifiwe When Haman got to know that now he is ready ama anaweza uwa hawa wa Yahudi he was very happy and every province kukapeano makaratasi imeandikwa imesainiwa by the king ikakuwa sasa there's no reverse how are Jews lazima wote wata watakufa so naye Mordecai akajua kuna mpango ambao imefanywa na Haman ya kuua Wayahudi wote naye akapitia akaenda akatumana kwa Esther akamwambia Esther did you know there is a plot to kill every Jew in this country and remember you are also a Jew so kama tutauawa hata wewe utauawa pamoja na nasi so Esther akasema sasa sisi tutafanya nini? Mordecai akamwambia It is because of a time like this you never know whether God put you in that state house a time like this because there is something that you can do for us. Haujui kama Mungu alikuweka kwa state house wakati kama huu ndio ukatupiganie. And so Esther decided that they are going to pray and fast. Nae Mordecai akaambiwa naye akusanye hayo wa Yahudi wote waombe na wafunge hili hili jambo likaweze likaweze kupingwa ku, kuvunjwa And why was Esther praying and fasting Esther was praying and fasting so that she could find favor with the king I thank God Nowadays when you get married to the king you stay with him 
you spend time with him, you stay in his house, you do everything together. This time, haikuwa hivyo. Ah ah. Ungeolewa na mfalme, yeye ndiye alikuwa na 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 that mandate ya kusema niitiwe fulani wakati fulani. And so Esther was praying and fasting so that she could find favor with the king to talk to the king. Hawakuwa wanaongea na wafa, na, na, na bwana zao venye tunaongea sisi ukiwa kwa mfalme. Alikuwa anagoja mfalme aitane ama anasimama nje. Ukisoma Biblia utaona when the that day of her fasting Esther went and stood at the courts of the of the Paris. That is to say, when the king is here seated, ange, asimame kwa the courts of the Paris, sasa mfalme ange muona akiwa inje, amuite ama akose kumui, kumuita. So, on the third day of her fasting, Esther lienda kavaa mavazi ya kifalme, na kainda akasimama inje ya mlango pale, na mfalme akamuona, na akauliza, Esther anataka nini aletwe kwangu? Wakati Esther aliletwa kwa mfalme you know what Esther did she said so Esther answered Esther aliulizwa na mfalme Esther niki ureda ureda atia she had found favor because of prayers and fasting see your prayers peke yake kuna mambo fasting itafungua ukose kuamini and the king said to Esther what do you wish to atujamaliza what do you do you wish Queen Esther, what is your request? It shall be given to you up to the half of the kingdom. Yani mfalme wakati alimuona, Esther amenyenyekea, amekuja anataka kuona mfalme, ameitwa ameambiwa sasa sema chenye unataka, hata kama ni half of the kingdom. Esther alisema nini? Was for. So as Esther answered, if it pleases the king, let the king and how man come today to the banquet that I have prepared for him. Praise the name of the Lord. Kama bwana wangu utakubali. Wacheni nitengeneze kasherezi juu banquet tutaita aje. Wacheni niwapikie wewe na Haman mkuje ni wa ni walishe leo. Praise the name of the Lord. Na ikawa Haman akaenda jioni yake ama hiyo siku akaenda na akapewa nini that banquet Esther was a very wise woman ati sababu sasa wamepangiwa kuuawa na ako fasting dry fasting hawakukula hawakukunywa the third day dry fasting wakawa hapo sasa wanagoja hakwenda kwa mfalme aseme eh hamana anataka kutua tunataka kumuodoa hapa hapana Alisema wacha niwe na sherehe na wewe na Haman. Siku ya ngapi? Ya kwanza. Praise the name of the Lord. And then Ikawa sasa ameenda siku ya kwanza na waka, na kasikia vizuri sana na akaheshimiwa na ikawa ni mzuri anasikia vizuri. The Bible says Esther chapter 5 verse 9 Esther 5:9 So Haman went out that day joyful and with a glad heart but when Haman saw Mordecai in the king's gate and that he did not stand or tremble before him he was filled with indignation against Mordecai next Nevertheless Haman restrained himself and went home Si alikuwa shapanga atawaua wakati sasa hama anasikia roho mzuri ah kuitwa sherehe na queen na to make matters worse ni mimi na mfalme na ni queen ameitana nevertheless Haman restrained himself and went home and he sent and called for his friends and his wife wife Zeres hama ni re aiguara maliko imemfika ma ya 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 amefikishwa na ufalme hapa na nasikia hii maringo yake itamuua ita marafiki wangu wote ndio niwaelezee ambacho kimefanyika akawaelezea 
Twende hapo chini. Then Haman told them of the great riches eh near the motogumono. Mimi niko na pesa mingi sana. The, the multitude of his children hata watoto si mnajua niko na wengi. Mimi nime ah mimi sio tasa. Niko na watoto wengi sana. Everything in which the king had promoted him. Hata nimepewa promotions. Hata nikipitia mahali watu wananiinamia. Mimi sio mtu hivi hivi usinicheze. Ah, Haman akajinua, akasikia yeye ako promoted and how he had advanced and how the king had advanced him above the officials and the servants of the king. Na venye ametiwa juu, amewekwa juu sana na anasikia raha sana. Twende hapo chini. Moreover Haman said. Sasa akawaambia na kuzidisha yote. Queen Esther invited no one but me to come with the king to the banquet that she prepared and tomorrow I'm again invited by her along with the king Ay 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 Reule nimeitwa leo nimeitwa na ni mimi na mfalme tulikuwa na sasa hata kesho uwi tena tunaenda Esther hajatosheka na mimi anataka bado tuende the banquet again praise the name of Jesus the next verse lakini akasema yet all this avails me nothing so long as i see Mordecai the Jew sitting at the king's gate lakini haya yote Yanazimu na haka ka mtu kamoja kanaitwa Mordecai. Hii raha ambayo niko nayo inazimwa na huyu Mordecai na mimi nasikia sitaki hii maneno. The next verse. Let us see how wives do and how and the things that we suggest for our husbands. Then his wife Zeresh Zeresh and all his friends say to him Nao marafiki wake dakimetire let a garu be made 50 cubits high and in the morning suggest to the king that Mordecai be hanged and then go marry with the king to the banquet and the, this thing priest Haman so he had the garus made ah bibi na wageni wakamwambia sasa unashinda kujisubua ati hauna raha juu ya mtu mmoja Ah, si utengeneze hii kitu. Kesho asubuhi sana huyu mtu wa uwawe. Praise the name of the Lord. Kesho asubuhi sana huyu mtu wa kuwe hayuko. Ukienda hiyo banquet utakuwa na raha. Maana hakuna mtu utaona hakuheshimu. Praise the name of the Lord. But the Bible tells me in Esther chapter 6. Praise the name of the Lord. Esther chapter 6 verse 1. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. That night the king could not sleep. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Biblia yangu inasema the same night the king could not get to sleep. So he ordered his official his official records to be to the empire to be brought and read to him. So the king could not sleep. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, Haman had even put up that garu. Alikuwa ashatengeneza kinyonga. Alikuwa sasa anajua ataenda sherehe zake bila kuzuiwa na mtu. Lakini the same night Haman the king could not sleep. Na kaitisha vitabu za kumbukumbu. Na kauliza akaanza kuzifungua. Na kitabu ya kwanza ilikuwa inasema Mordecai ambaye alikuwa at the gate ali save the king from being killed by Bigtha and the other pharaoh. And the king asked, "What did we do to this man?" And the official said, "We did nothing to him." Praise the name of the Lord. I want to pray this day that whatever has been planned against you, that there shall be someone that God will order that same night 
Satan, when they have planned evil for you, it shall not come forth. Because God will cause someone. Akuje akuinue. Akuje akutue kwa mitego ya shetani. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So ikawa sasa mfalme amepanga first thing in the morning I am going to honor this man Verse 4 Oh oh wacha tusome hey. Verse 3 Sijui taandikwa to be continued Verse 3 Then the king said What honor or dignity has been bestowed to Mordecai for this and the king's servants who attended him said, nothing has been done, verse 4. So the king said, who is in the court now? Who is in the court? Naya mfanme kuamuka sasa. Sia kota yari sasa kuheshimisha mwenye mesikia alimfanyia jambo na haku fanyiwa. Mfanme ya kauliza, who is in the court now? Naya Haman. Dio mbio amekuja anataka kuambia mfalme he mfalme unajua nini ah huyo modo da geika raidha rigi nataka aende kwenda now wafanyi kazi wakasema now Haman had just entered the outer court of the king's palace to suggest that to suggest just suggest that the king hung Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him alikuwa tu ameingia Dio akuje kuambia the king. Wacha tumalize huyu mtu. Huyu ni kizungumkuti ya natuharibia hata hii serikari. Huyu waondolewe immediately. Hafai kuishi tena. The next verse, five. The king's servant said to him, Haman is here, standing in the court. And the king said, let him come in. The next verse. So Haman came in and the king asked him, what shall be done for the man whom the king delights to honor? Now Haman thought in his heart, whom would the king delight to honor more than me? Yeah. Ni nani mwingine mfanme? Yani, amekucha kusema mtu wa uwawe, lakini wakati aliingia tu hivi, the king interjected him. Kuna mtu nataka kuheshimisha. Naweza mfanyia nini? Kwa roho yake hama na nasema, who else? I am second to the king. Ata hatabui kuna queen. I am second. Ah, ya, ya. Ni nani mwingine huyo anaweza take my position? Ah, mtu kama mimi sasa, sini mimi anataka kuheshimisha? What do we do to him? Wacha hmm? tuone. Next verse. And Haman answered to the king, for the man whom the king delights to honor, mm -hmm. let the royal robe be brought which the king has won. Mavasi ya mfalme, ambaye yeye mfalme uva, ivalishwe huyu mtu. And the horse on which the king has ridden, na yo horse ni onini? Farasi ya mfalme, akalishwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Which has a royal crest placed on its head. Iyo ni kusema, farasi ambaye amerebeshwa. Yani mtu wata akivalishwa, izo nguo za mfalme, aketishwe kwa hiyo farasi, iwekwe kama ni mfalme, anapita. Iyo nekane kwa umbali na onekane, haya, ni munene, haya. Lakini ya kifika hapo, aonekane ni yeye. Praise the name of the Lord. What does the Bible say? Then, mm -hmm. then let, let, let this robe and the horse be delivered to the hand of one of the king's most noble princes. Tomo doi vihivi. Hizi vitu zipatiwe mtu noble. Mtu mwenye ameheshimika that the, he may array the man whom the king delights to honor. Dio, huyo mtu mwenye ameheshimika, avalishe, 
afanyie ni kama bibi ya harusi unajua wakati wa harusi nyinyi ambao mnataka kuole hata nguo hautajivalisha utakao naambiwa va ni kama ujai va ukiatu eh kira hivyo na sasa kila kitu we, kukiwa na vumbi eh uwezi kanyanga matope sasa naye Haman alikuwa anataka akue hivyo then parade him on the horseback amweke kwa farasi through the city square kumanyere yote kutoka mwanzo sijui hizi streets zinaitwaje pale Nairobi tulikuwa tunasema CBD Ukienda Tomboya Street unapitia Moi Avenue hizo zote. Sasa huku street lazima apitishwe kwa streets zote. Akisema hivi ndivyo mfalme anataka kuheshimisha mwenye anataka nini? Praise the name of the Lord. That shall it be done to the man whom the king king delights and honor. Praise the name of Jesus. What I wanted to say because this is to be continued hivi venye roho yako ukuambia usifikirie ndivyo itakuwa when haman thought that all these things would be done to him the bible says he was told by the king hivyo ambavyo umesema usijaribu kutoa hata gathurumo kai usitoe Ufanyie adui yako Mordecai but he did not know Mordecai was his first enemy I want to tell you it is not over yet because Haman signed death certificate he even made the garrows but the bible tells me before he did what he wanted to do this man himself is the one that raised his voice and said if indeed your phone me anataka kuheshimisha mtu ambaye anataka kuheshimisha na kwa hivyo mimi kama Haman ninabeba huyu Mordecai ambaye ni adui yangu nilikuwa nataka kuua ni yeye na heshima Misha Praise the name of the Lord and Mordecai did not die when you read the whole thing Haman is the one who died